Hi everybody, this is Tony, uh, bringing you not so good news from the uh, uh, Cody Fire TV end here. Um, apparently there was an update, uh, the newest update is 5.0.5.1 version of Fire TV that was updated. I didn't even get a notice that it was going to update, just did it I guess. Um, and unfortunately, the um, update eliminates, blocks the um, application Firestarter. Uh, the reason is because they created a new feature that I did not ask for, by the way. Um, and so I'm, I'm pretty peeved about that. Anyway, you press the home button twice and instead of it getting Cody like Firestarter was designed to do, it takes you to your apps library. Um, what I did was um, I had favorited it. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but um, because I, it's, Cody's the only thing that I use besides the ES File Explorer, um, it is in the apps library. So it takes you directly to the apps library. When you're in the apps library, then you press the circle on the remote. I don't know if you can see it very well. It's kind of dark in here, but you press the circle on the remote and it takes you to Cody. Um, I guess they think that that's better than Firestarter. Personally, I think Firestarter is a much better application and it's a legitimate application and it's an application that I installed on my Fire TV. And I don't appreciate it being blocked because I'm not five years old. I don't need my handheld. I installed it because that's the type of functionality that I wanted, but, um, they eliminated that choice. And, um, if you know anything about rooting and most of the people that watch my videos don't, um, it's just a way to take complete control of your device. And because I pay good money for my device, I think that I, should not have to root it, but it looks like I'll have to. It's essentially making yourself a system administrator on your box, but um, I may have to go down that route because I'm not, I, I don't want any more updates. Um, anyway, so for my people that have Firestarter, uh, Firestarter is not working anymore. So, uh, what I would suggest you do, if you only use Cody, it really shouldn't be a problem because it's going to show up on your recent apps. I would still go ahead and favorite it. Um, the way to do that is go down to applications. You see where it says apps, really go to your apps library. Um, I'm just going to use the ES file explorer as an example. Um, I can't stop showing up very well, but you, um, have the application there and you go down to favorites and you press add to favorites and it will add it and then boom you'll see a little heart um i will go ahead and favorite cody um because cody's the only application that i use it's always going to show up on recents for me but double click and it takes you there then you press the circle and then you end up here bullshit in my opinion because you know, that's three clicks to get to wherever I'm going. And yeah, I know a click is like a millisecond long, but that's not the point. The point was Firestart. It made it a nice little seamless thing where I, I, I mean, I'm not really using, I'm using the Fire TV box really for what I'm, what I need. And I don't really need the Amazon part of it. So Firestart just kind of yeah, you got to the home page, but boom, double click and you uh, just head on through to your Cody. But now double click means you go to your apps library. Then you select Cody and you get here. Uh, so far as I know, um, there really isn't a fix for that. Um, we'll just have to see uh, where Amazon is going with all of that. So... Anyway, I hope this helps. Um, let me know if you like it by liking below and um, subscribe to my videos. I'm always coming out with something new. If you have any suggestions on any new videos, please leave them in the comments below. And I will see you guys later.